guys i'm back today with another video and this one is going to be brought to you by rpg show of course you guys know i'm going to make sure to leave all of the details down below and if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you are subscribed so of course you do get this nice box i did get an edge brush in the box and this also comes in a nice little bag that you can store your wig in if you are done and they also have a booklet in there that kind of shows you all of the it does wigs. come with your soft lace it comes with two combs on the side a comb in the back and your adjustable straps you also get six inches of parting space and they also have that nice pre-plucked hairline that i love this is what the unit looks like after i have freshly washed it i did go ahead and bleach the knots on this unit of course you do not have to bleach your knots guys it is totally up to you but with their lace and their knots you can easily add any type of makeup such as powder or foundation liquid foundation and you will be good to go this unit does not look like this when you first take it out of the package. I will make sure to insert a picture in so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. And now I'm just going to go ahead and brush through this hair because it is very thick. This unit is 200% in density and it definitely has some weight to it. I would say it's about between 150% to 200% in density, which is good for a bob. And this is like a messy bob. So one side is meant to be longer. It is 14 inches in the front and then 12 inches in the back. So I had to kind of see how I wanted it, but I realized it was longer. It was meant to be on the right side, like the bang area. And you guys know I am a right side person. So I had to put my part on the left side but i will definitely show you guys what the parting space on this unit looks like the cap size that i have is a cap size one which is between a 21 and a half to size 22. i love the way that their caps fit me it's very comfortable i don't have to worry about it being big and falling off all i have to do is adjust my strap i don't have to worry about any wig grips any elastic bands it just fits show you guys what that parting space looks like and their parting space and the hairline is bomb so i have nothing negative to say when it comes to rpg's hairline and parting space but like i said i am gonna have to park this on the left side so for me it was a little bit different working with a left side wig and i'm not used to that i'm just used to parting it on the right however even though some of the side is a little bit longer. You can always cut it even. It's not hard, it's not a lot of hair to snip off, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like without having to do too much alteration to it. So now I'm just going to take my Blow Pro foam and I'm going to mold this down. Now the hair was very thick at the top and you guys have to remember, I did not mold this hair. You know, usually I mold it when I freshly wash it and I didn't do any of that. I just brushed it back. So I'm definitely have, going to have to go in and do some extra steps just to make sure that it lays down because what we don't want is something that's just going to be sitting up with a bunch of bulkiness. Blow Pro Foam, I know it looks like I'm putting on a lot, but definitely a little bit goes a long way. And I'm just making sure to comb that throughout the hair so that when I get ready to wrap it up and start blow drying, everything will be set and I don't have to go in and keep adding layers of mousse. I am done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Glee May scarf by Just the Dragoness. I'll make sure to leave a link down below along with a coupon code if you guys are interested in this. And I will be tying this on my head and I'll be pulling the hair down also to make sure you know it doesn't get bulky. And then I'll be going in with my blow dryer on the cool setting and just running this over the top and around the hairline. Now, you don't have to do this step if you have time to kind of walk around the house and just let it's set but when you are on a time schedule I do have to pull out my blow dryer I try not to use it too much but it definitely does help speed up the process and I will have to go in the front and kind of blow dry in that area just because it was still a little bit wet I'm done with that I'm gonna take my wax stick and just kind of go over the size of this unit and I'm just going to kind of press everything out I want this to be really nice and sleek especially because it's a silky texture now I still feel like I had to do a little bit more work at the top because it was still very thick and I needed it to be very very flat like y'all see how it pressed out flat I need it to be flat <laughs> I don't want any humps or bumps 
I am done running the hot comb through. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my heat protectant spray and I'm just going to go ahead and spray that all over the hair, just using a little bit. And then I will be taking my flat iron and just running it through the hair. Now, you guys will see me become very indecisive because I was not sure how I wanted to style this unit. This unit did look good straightened out. I just preferred it with a curl. Just because of the way the one side hung, I felt like it was just a little bit thin at the ends on that one side. So that's why I said you can definitely cut it even. Like if I was to wear this again, I would just go ahead and chop that little extra off. But it definitely flat irons very well. That's one thing I can say. Had it in my mind that I was going to wear this straight and then in the middle of me flat ironing this hair, I was like, no. I really would like some curls and especially when I seen how it was going I just knew I was not going to like it straight so I will be using this flat iron to curl it now I could have gotten better results if I would have taken it off my head and curled it on the mannequin so it definitely turned out to be some messy wavy curls but I really do like the way it looked towards the end because it was not perfect at all and it definitely gave some volume to the unit Jenna does hold a very good curl. Of course, if you want a tighter curl pattern, then I would suggest either using the flat iron and kind of pin curling it, or you can go in with a smaller wand curl to achieve that look. Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys and curl through this whole unit. I just wanted you guys to see for a little bit how this unit does curl if you decide to use a flat iron and then i'm going to go off camera and end up curling the whole head so that i do not make this a super long video i'm satisfied with my curls i'm just going to go ahead and pin everything back and then go into the hairline using my ruby kisses 3d contour creator powder palette and as you guys can see I did not need a lot of powder like look how it just blends into the skin without you know doing anything to it it just looks really good one thing I love about their lace is that it is super thin and I feel like it just blends really well with any skin tone all you need is some powder around the hairline and you are good to go and you don't have to worry about using any glue any free spray anything to lay it down to make it look even more natural and of course I am not going to be using any baby hairs with this look so now I'm just going to take that clip out and then I will be using my wide tooth comb and just kind of playing around with the very front area I decided to not cut any layers into it I thought the curls were enough so I'm gonna play around with it for a little bit just to get it how I want it to be because like I told you guys I'm not used to my hair being parted on the left side so I have to make sure I you know kind of spruce it up after all of that is done I'm gonna take a little bit of free spray through my comb and and then I'm just going to run it through the top. I did notice some flyaways and some short hairs in this unit. So I want them to lay down. I don't want the top of my hair looking crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and keep kind of messing with that little bang area. And then after I get it to how I want it to be, I'm going to take the free spray and go ahead and spray the very front of the hair because I do not want this to drop what the hairline and the parting space will look like after you add powder i think it looks really good their lace is very thin so it's very easy to blend in with everything and as you guys can see i'm going to pick that up just to show you guys that i did not use anything underneath to lay this down it only comes in the silky texture i do wish that they would offer you to choose between silky and yakky and then also with shedding and tangling i got a very small amount of shedding and i really didn't receive any tangling with this unit i don't expect many problems also did notice a little bit of freeziness throughout the day however it was a little bit nasty outside so i'm not sure if that contributed to it but make sure you add some serum into this unit so guys let me know what you think about this once again i'll leave everything down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your notification button share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys